Hello. In this video, I'll show you how to do text mining and rapid miner to extract common words from your text. Could be, you know, notes from your call center, notes on projects, claim information, anywhere you have large text of data that you want to extract and understand really what's going on uh, with the common words and phrases in that information. So to do this, I thought it'd be fun to use the Loch Ness Monster website of sightings from 2000 to today. So I, I already have a read document. I have my data stored in a CSV file. And if we look at that, you can see it's really just lots of text of when sightings occurred, 821, 621, 521, with all the description that they have. So how do we take this and turn it into something more meaningful? So the way to do that is we want to process our document. So pull this, process documents, and then inside of the process documents, we need to create the appropriate path. So the first thing we have to do is tokenize our words. So we'll pull a tokenize container out tokenize and then just to make it easier I want to transform my cases to all be lowercase or uppercase so it treats them all the same in this case we're going to use the default of lowercase then I want to filter out stop words and these would be words that are common that you don't want to include in your model. So for your particular industry, you might have words that you uh, want to create a file for and not have show up. Uh, for this one, we're just going to use the standard. And then I want to filter my tokens by length. So the minimum word I want to see is four characters. So anything under that, it will remove. And then I'm going to stem it. You have different options for stemming. One, some work better um, depending on what your data is. So in this case, I'm going to use the snowball technique. Pull that back up. So now I've got my process document. So if I run this, I have my file. Everything's output. Um, that's my example set. So these are my words. And this is really what we're trying to get to. So I don't need this one here. But I do need my word list to data. I want to drop this into an Excel file. So then I'm going to do write Excel. And then pass the throughput up to my output. And then in here I just have to give it a name. So Loch Ness Words. And now when I run this process You'll see it's extracted 444 words out of all my documents. So those are documents. And then the total cases, you see the word lock appears 50 times, waters 40. That's the creature, that's the stub, uh, stem word for creature, picture, said, boat, etc. So those are the actual words. So now that I've got that written out to an Excel file, what I can do with that, again, is to pull it up into Power BI. So I took that Excel file, used it as a basis in Power BI, and I've got my original descriptions here, and then my text mining words that we just looked at are being pulled in. So I'm combining my original data with the output from Rapid Miner to focus in on that. And then I created a heat map over here of where most of the sightings occurred based on the approximate latitude and longitude from the descriptions uh, on the sightings. So in this case, we took the Loch Ness Monster text, what people had written and added to the website, extracted the words to see kind of what it, what's the most popular words that are in there, and then wrapped it all up with Power BI to know where the most likely place to see the Loch Ness Monster is, which apparently is in this bay. So if you go to Loch Ness, this is where you want to go to, to find the Loch Ness Monster. 
Now, in business applications, like I said, you can take this, use it against your claim data, your call notes, all of that type of stuff. Pull that information in, do the rapid miner process on it, export that data to a database table, and then use it to understand what's happening in your call center, on your projects, or claims. So for claims, if you have a lot of information coming in and certain words keep popping up, breakage, parts failures, etc., then you can use that information to target those particular notes that are on those parts and understand do you have a problem with those type of parts. Same thing in your call center. If you have a lot of similar words popping up in your call centers, is there something going on with your billing information, etc. So there's a lot of applications for text mining. Uh, I hope you found this one at least entertaining. Um, because now at least we know where to go find the Loch Ness Monster with the highest probability. Thanks.